Hi there, and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big every single week. Remember, we got you covered no matter what sport you're betting on. Before we get into today's video, I want to remind you to join so you'll have access to the Z-Code VIP Club section that I'm looking at right here and has all these wonderful tools to help you make your picks. So we're starting with some NBA games for February the 7th, and so let's just take a look at what's happening for that day. We'll scroll down here. Take a look at some of the games, not all of them. First one we want to look at is the Miami Heat and the New York Knicks. The Heat come in with the third worst record in the Eastern Conference and take on the Knicks, who are battling for the final playoff spot. See, the Knicks right now are ice cold up. They have won two out of their last six. The Miami Heat are dead status at the moment. They have lost five out of their last six. If you take a look at the power rankings indicator, you can see that both teams are not doing very well. The Knicks at plus seven and there's uh miami all the way down at plus one take a look at the head-to-head -head matchup you see that the two teams have not played yet this season if you're considering betting over and under on this one you can see that this year miami was playing in games trending over the line now they're playing in games trending under the line if you look at the black compared to the blue and if you look at the knicks they're also playing in games trending under the line so expect a low scoring game in this one betting the under is a very wise play you want to see how stable the two teams have been how consistent have they been according to their favorite underdog status you can see that they're both above zero plus four to plus three so they are moderately stable meaning they are consistently going according to their status now you notice here that the game status here the odds are not yet posted they're usually not posted until the day before the game or maybe the day of the game so check back with that a little later but what i'm thinking right now is that the knicks will probably come away with a home win on this one miami is just playing awful basketball right now i don't see them winning on the road the utah jazz and the indiana pacers the jazz entered with the best record in the western conference they could be very well be the surprise team in the league at the moment they head to indiana to take on the pacers who are fifth in the eastern conference the Jazz right now are burning hot, winners of five out of their last six games. The Pacers are averaged down. They have lost three out of their last four, and they have won three out of their last six. The power ranking indicator will show this, that Utah is at plus 29. Indiana is at plus 18. So you can see the Jazz way up near the top of the league, not surprising, with the best record in basketball. Head-to-head, -head, the teams have not played. Since January of 2020. You're looking at the over and under on this one. You see here that the Jazz are playing in games trending slightly over the line. You see here the black compared to the blue. And Indiana playing in games trending well over the line. So this here's another one where you can expect a lot of points being put up on the board. If you want to bet the over and under, bet the over in this one. We want to take a look at the volatility oscillator to see how stable the two teams are. This is gonna be could be important in this one. You see the Jazz are at plus five. They're very stable. Indiana is at plus one, moderately stable. I don't see Indiana winning this one, even though they're playing at home. The Jazz are just playing too good right now. It just seems like that they're on a roll that won't be stopped anytime soon. Go with the Jazz to win this one in a relatively close game. Again, the line is not yet posted. The Washington Wizards and the Charlotte Hornets. The Wizards are the second worst team in the Eastern Conference. And Charlotte is now sixth in the Eastern Conference. You see the status ice cold up for Washington. They have won two out of their last six games. Charlotte averaged down. They have won three out of their last six. Coming off a 118-111 loss to Philadelphia. If you take a look at the power rankings indicator, Charlotte a big increase just over the last few days to plus 16 and Washington down at zero. You're looking for an over under pick on this one. Washington playing in games trending slightly over the line. Charlotte playing in games trending pretty well over the line. Again, this here's a good chance to win some money betting the over. Look at the head to head matchups. And these two teams haven't met, met yet this season either. The last meeting was on January of 2020. 
Let's see how stable the two teams have been. Here's a case where stability could come into play. Look at this. Charlotte at minus six. I mean, they are not consistent at all according to their favorite underdog status. So take that into consideration. You will not want to base your bet solely on their favorite underdog status. Having said that, they probably will be a favorite playing at home. Actually, they will be a favorite play, playing at home against Washington. Washington is just awful. I do not see an upset coming here. Go for Charlotte to win the game. The Boston Celtics and the Phoenix Suns. The Celtics are averaged down at the moment. You can see that they have lost three out of their last six. Phoenix averaged down at the moment. They uh, are coming off a loss. And prior to that, they had won their last three. Boston is fourth in the Eastern Conference. And the Suns are sixth in the Western Conference. Look at the power ranking indicator. You can see that Phoenix has overtaken Boston in that category, plus 23 to plus 19. You can see just about a week ago that was different. Considering the over and under, like we always do, here's one where Boston is trending slightly under the line. Phoenix is trending slightly under the line. You may want to avoid the over and under, but if you do bet, go with the under because that has been the slight trend for both of those teams. You want to see again how stable the two teams are, which is always a good thing. Again, here's one where you do not want to take the over, uh, excuse me, the favorite underdog status too seriously in case of Phoenix. Because look at this, they're minus five, so you know they're sometimes winning as favorites, sometimes losing as favorites, and vice versa with uh, being an underdog. Boston has been very consistent, so we will get rid of that and look at another tool. So what I'm looking at here is that I'm just leaning towards Boston. Uh, you know, it's kind of a toss-up game. Both teams are playing well. Phoenix has a good record. Boston has a good record. I just have a feeling that Boston will come out on the road with a strong performance and get a road win. Sacramento and the Los Angeles Clippers. The Kings are burning hot at the moment. Winners of five out of their last six games. The lone loss coming by a point against the, the Heat on January the 30th. The Clippers are average up at the moment winners of four out of their last six. The Kings are, have one of the lower positions in the conference, but the Clippers are second in the conference. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see that the Kings are at a plus 11, and the Clippers, who were at plus 29, are still high, but they have dropped some. They are now at plus 25. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchups, they have played recently, and the Clippers have owned Sacramento. Look at this. A 19-point win at home and a 38-point win on the road. So the Kings just had the, uh, excuse me, the, the Clippers just had the Kings number at the moment. If you're considering the over and under, here's Sacramento playing in games over the line. The Clippers again over the line. So here's another indication to bet the over. You probably will win good money if you do so. Here's one week there where there have been a lot of picks for um, over and under. Some weeks we do this, and I do not suggest betting over and under at all, but this is different for this week. So anyway, let's take a look at the volatility oscillator. How well the team's been performing. Look at this. The Clippers plus 11. Clear indication to go with whatever their status is. They have been extremely consistent. Probably the most consistent team in the league. I haven't checked it out, but probably the most consistent team in the league. So they are playing at home. They will be a favorite. This one is pretty much a lock going up by that. Go with the Clippers to win this one relatively easily. Again, the line has not been posted, but whatever the line is, I would probably bet the Clippers to cover the spread. So there you have it. Those are the picks for the week. Enjoy the games. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.